Hello everyone and welcome back to Spider-Man. Hey, what's up? What do you know about Sable International? Let's see. They're an international security firm, usually hired by governments to end revolutions or start them. The last thing we need is a city full of trigger-happy mercenaries. Whoa, social media is blowing up. They're setting up checkpoints around the city, doing random stop and frisks. This is crazy. No. This is Norman Osborne feeling threatened. Yes, yeah, so Silver Sable's mercenaries are now part of the open world. We can find their checkpoints around town. Here's one right here. Hi there, friends. How you doing? And yeah, they're just kinda... Kinda making their presence known. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? <laughs> Me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to, uh, stay busy. It might help him, too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. Fair enough. So yeah, of course we are looking for evidence on Martin Lee's wrongdoings, I suppose. And for that we need to access his office. Glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. May said you were at the bombing. I was praying for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's nice. Now they got nothing to say, so let's just see if... Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. Well, as luck would have it, nobody's watching, so I guess we could spidey our way up there. A vent somewhere. Huh. Never seen that room before. Can't really get a proper look at the room. Even if we press triangle to... to kind of take a closer look. Kinda hard to see anything at this point. Oh, hello. Whoa, what the... High voltage lines. What needs this much power? There. I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. <sighs> what would Ben do? And that should do it. Now let's see here. Now the shrine is obviously important in some way, but first let's just take a look at the stuff around the room.
Yeah, there's a lot of books on history and art and all that stuff. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. It doesn't seem to be anything particularly relevant. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Looks like this note is for May. Lee really did care about May. Hope this means she's out of danger. Yeah, so that's kind of cool that the Feast Center wasn't just, you know, a front. Or a sham or whatever. And he actually was trying to, trying to help people, but... But yeah. Lee's journal. Wonder what that's for. A key. Wonder where the lock is. Yeah, it looks like Lee has really been struggling with keeping the demon in check. Inflicted. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Well, that's a little bit on the nose. Okay, let's take a look at this shrine then. And, yeah, there is this keyhole that is actually kind of easy to miss. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. And, of course, we saw in the photo with Aunt May that there was a yin-yang symbol on the background behind them. So, obviously, we are supposed to make one of those here by just turning these knobs until we get something. That seems right. Okay. We got the bottom half in place, so now let's just line them up. There we go. What are you hiding, Lee? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon, until he became one. Once again, no eye holes. 
He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? I like how Peter just starts thinking about the different possible scientific methods. This is all about Norman Osborne. His whole career. Lee must have been obsessed with him. Oscorp lost a lawsuit about improper clinical trials years ago. Did they cover this up? I've never heard of it. Lee was keeping tabs on Wilson Fisk, too. Trying to predict when he'd fall. Doesn't seem like he has anything to say about Harry. This article is decades old. It must be back when Oscorp was first founded. Not quite sure which article he means, but... But never mind. I'm just looking around in case there's something else. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. Creepy. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. I believe that is all. Phew. It's a burn room. Wired to destroy evidence. Well, luckily we have our electric webs for just such an occasion. Now we actually have to hit the same junction box three times, which I kind of forgot about at first. But that is one of them shut down, and there seems to be another one back here, behind the lockers. The police had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. <laughs> now, how do I get out of here? One would assume a door of some kind. Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. At an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done.
Okay, so that had the potential to go all kinds of wrong. Don't know what would have happened if Aunt May hadn't shown up when she did. Wait, wait, wait! I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack plan. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Wait, remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more, but I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? Huh. What should I cook? And yeah, Shocker did mention something about his new employers who did not tolerate failure. Hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see Peter. Uh, okay. Uh, be right there. I wonder if this means I have a job again. Yes, I can stop by. Just for a minute. Yeah, there's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff at the lab. So we will be leaving that for the next episode so this one doesn't... doesn't run overly long. So I figured that... To finish things off here, we'll just beat up a bunch of demons. And this is also a new type of... ...of these open world crimes. It's demons shooting at the Sable mercenaries. So we'll just beat up the demons. As usual. And yeah, one of the optional objectives was to electrify three enemies at once, which was pretty easy with Spider Bro. Uh, a look of appreciation on the Sable guys is all the reward I need. Or is that constipation? Hey guys. Don't mind me. Just passing through. Boss wants a sit rep on the garrison in Chelsea. Demons firing on our position. Need backup. Eh, uh, we're not gonna bother with that. Now, there's a pigeon right here. As well as a backpack, so we'll grab those as well before we call it a video. I hope nobody sees me doing this. Okay, 
Okay. Yeah, that wasn't too hard. And now for the backpack. Hey, turn this way. Oops, sorry guys. My Mark I web shooters. Managed to improve the storage capacity a lot since then, but the basic design's still the same. Yeah, that is pretty much the old school comic type web shooter. And we also have a couple of skill points available, so... We'll take this ability that lets us swing kick shield enemies and knock them down, so... That makes it easier to take out those guys. But with that, I think we can call it an episode. I will see you next time.